So I mentioned we found a small drip leak in our bathroom, second bathroom. This is my son's bathroom, so it's like the guest bathroom. And of course, it rotted out the floor. So we already knew that there was something wrong with the flooring when we first moved in. And anyways, it was time to finally go ahead and get that addressed. We fixed the leak after we found it and we dug up all of the flooring. We put new sub flooring down. We came out of the bathroom a little ways as well because the floor still kept, felt kind of funny there. And we'd rather tear out more than not enough. So as you can see, this was a huge mess and lots and lots of work. So of course, whenever you're dealing with a leak, especially one that's been going on for a long time, you can expect some mold. Mold is very dangerous to your health and you want to get rid of that as soon as possible. So we had someone come out, we got rid of everything that is fixed and now it is time for my husband to lay the flooring he will then put up some new sheetrock and then we will bring in the bathtub and we still need to purchase a brand new toilet because we wanted to replace the toilets in this house anyways and a brand new va vanity so my son can have his bathroom back but this is what the bathroom looks like now so we are going to of course cover the whole floor with the under laminate right now it's just underneath the bathtub because my husband thought he was going to start there and we're going to go ahead and just bring the bathtub in first but it didn't work out that way so anyways we're starting out in the hallway areas where i call it so this is the reality of living in a fixer upper and being a content creator at the same time so this is what we're doing right now we're starting to lay the flooring down so this is the wood color. I showed it to y'all before and what I showed you was actually a little more gray, but whenever my husband went and bought a new can, it turned out to be a whole different color. It was way darker, nothing like it showed up and it was a var thing. So we're thinking that's why. So we ended up going with the other lighter color that we had that was oil based and it's pretty similar. You can barely tell the difference between the two it's just this one's a little more cooler and the other's a little um well no the other one's a little cooler this one's a little warmer but other than that they're both light and beautiful so we went ahead and just made it easy and went with this one instead so this is very exciting to have y'all here whenever we're laying down the first part of our flooring. I know there's been a lot of y'all that's been following me ever since my single wide when we sold it, moved here to this fixture upper, and now we are, you know, I've been in the process of turning this into our dream home, and now it's time to finally lay some flooring. We are, my goal was to actually finish painting everywhere, but you know your girl is just always changing her mind and repainting. Um, but I'm going to be, you know, just working on these makeovers. I have so much to do. So as you can see, I just wanted to say that this flooring is plywood flooring. So we are using plywood. We're staining it the color we want. My husband cut it to the size that I want. These are 10 inch planks. Now I wanted the wider planks. I didn't want the skinnier ones. I wanted something different. I always like to do stuff different and be different. So this is what I wanted. So it's probably not everybody's taste. Now, if you've been here on my channel, you've looked around my house, my house is rustic farmhouse. I love the rustic and I feel like my floors represent my style to the T. The color spot on, how rustic they are is spot on. They are absolutely beautiful. So as soon as my husband gets done laying them down here in a minute, I am going to go ahead and put a coat of sealer on. Now, the sealer that we went with was satin. I did want flat. I don't like a shiny surface. I've got flat um, all over. Like, all my countertops are flat, my paints, all of that. I don't care for shiny surfaces that I've never been one to. So... I feel like the satin's okay. Like I told my husband, if you couldn't find it in the colors or in the flat or matte that I wanted, a satin would be the, you know, the the highest that he could go. So he came home with the satin and actually we um, did a test spot and it didn't look bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, I've got my 
project attire on. I've already gotten paint all over these leggings. I actually have them up in the corner in my closet. So whenever I need to work on projects, I can just get my painting clothes out so I don't mess up my regular clothes. But anyways, I'm going to start painting this on. Now we do have rollers for this, but since this is just a small area, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just use the paintbrush. And I also want to make sure I get into the like the little grooves, the lines, the little cracks. And just and make sure that it's all sealed very well. Now, I don't plan on, you know, using a mop to the extent to where there's going to be so much water on the mop. I am going to, even if I have to get on my hands and knees and use a cloth to mop, I'll do that. But <laughs> I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to get like one of those little slight spray mops, um, the O Cedar spray mop, and just work with that. The spin mop did not work very well for me. I find like as many times as I've wrung it out, it still held a lot of moisture in it. And I'm just going to be very easy on these floors so, you know, they don't mess up. But once they're sealed, you know, as many times I'm going to seal them. I think I'm going to do two to three coats. Those, they should be perfectly fine. And I'm so excited. So while that dries, your girl is going to be doing some deep cleaning in her kitchen. I'm going to organize this um, my island. This is where I keep like my pots and pans and my baking dishes and all of that. And I'm going to take everything out and then organize it very well. So this is going to be bringing you some cleaning motivation. I feel like I've talked your head off long enough. I'm going to go ahead and play some music and y'all enjoy this cleaning. And then I will be back as soon as the floor is dried and I will put my stuff back and show you how the floor looks. I see you in a while, cause this time I will choose you, yeah I'll choose, you know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs, I need a night like this Knowing it's a risk cause you're using it, you got it So 
one of the organizers that I bought, I was going to actually use it for my pot, for my pans, my frying pans, but it just didn't seem like it was working right. I don't know. I didn't like the way it looked. So I went ahead and just, you know, said, you know what? I can use it for the lids and it, it worked great because that's one reason why I can't clean, keep it clean and organized underneath there because if you can see how I like to put the lids on and then stack them the lids just move they're not the type that they just stay put and they all tip over and then I have a huge mess so it did perfectly holding the lids there on the ones that don't stay and I feel like it looks so much better. I do have some more pieces that are in the dishwasher and in my other cabinet that I need to bring in here and like cutting boards and stuff like that. But for everything that was in there, I think it looks really good. Everything's all nice and clean and organized. So it is now a bit later. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back. I'm sure the floor is now dried. So I am in my pajamas. So y'all, I'm looking a little homely. That's why. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to be um, a cleaning up my kitchen. But before I do that, I wanted to go ahead and um, show y'all how I make my yummy pies they're like individual little pies and they're so quick and easy so i'll go ahead and share that with you after this part of the video in case anybody would like to make them but this is how the floors turned out in the hallway that i call the part that i call hallway and i think it looks so good i'm going to put my heat lamp up there because my plants definitely definitely need it but oh my gosh y'all I am so in love with these flooring I cannot wait until we put some more down so we're going to be working on the bathroom and then of course my office as well I've got a lot to do in there but definitely comment below let me know your thoughts on my flooring and let me know would you ever put plywood flooring down in your kitchen but I'm so glad I finally have some down and I know what my flooring is going to look like so I am going to be making my my pies now usually I make them a little different I make them with biscuits but this time I wanted to do something a little different so I'm using a pie crust now this was from Aldi and then I also have two pie fillings I have um, apple and cherry you can get whatever pie filling you want um, I almost got some pumpkin I thought that would have been good but I didn't want to just do the pumpkin just yet you know, I'm going to be making a lot of those kinds of things for the holidays and I just wanted to wait. I can wait until next month to get into all of that. I just don't want to get sick of it right now, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and make them. So I'm using the pie crust and I'm just going to be cutting them in a shape to where I can fill it and then kind of like seal the edges. So it's not going to be pretty. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason I thought that this was going to be like in a square shape and not a circle. So I didn't think that far ahead. So I was just trying to come up with different ways that I was going to make these pies. So this is what I did. I just cut them and I'm going to fill them and seal them. This is super easy as well. Now, this is kind of something that I used to make before and I've made it with biscuits and I would fry them. So I would roll out the biscuits, fill it with the filling and then seal it with the fork, the edges with the fork and fry them. But I feel like this tastes so good and this is more of the homemade Little Debbie pies and it was just so good. I also will show you how I make my homemade icing for it too. It was just so amazing. <laughs>
this was my first time actually using this pie crust. So these weird shapes that I was having to work with, I was just trying to figure it all out as I went. But I definitely did overstuff a couple of them, but they still came out fine. This one right here that I'm making was my husband and he ended up getting this one and he loved it. He said, yes, there's so much filling in it. I was like, yeah, I kind of went overboard with that one. He's like, nope, I like it like that. He's like, I think I like this better than the store bought because there's more filling. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so he actually enjoyed that one, but I'm going to go ahead and just fill them all up, stick them in the oven. And then I just bake them until they're like golden brown. I don't, you know, time it or anything. I just keep my eye on them. And then I will show you here in a minute how I make the icing. So making the powdered sugar was super easy. Just put in some powdered sugar and then add a little bit of milk. Stir it up. You're going to need to add more and um, thicken it up to your liking. I also added just a little splash of vanilla just to give it some more flavoring. And it was so delicious. As you can see here, it's too um, liquidy there. And I just add more powdered sugar and it thickens up very nicely. So if you need to ever make any, it's super easy. Just follow these steps. You can't go wrong with it. So as you can see, I'm just adding more and mixing it up and then it gets thick. So once they get to be um, this color, I get them out. I don't want them to cook too long. And this was absolutely perfect. The edges were nice and crispy. And it was so soft on the top. But it wasn't doughy. It was really, really good. So after they came out, I just went ahead and drizzled the amount of icing. And I'm glad that I am able to like make this homemade. I personally don't like a lot of icing on mine. And it was just perfect. Very, very yummy. Oh, 